Alex Bowen. What's up, Detect? Michael. Dang, that was quick. I know you didn't get to Chipotle in that amount of time. Nope, haven't left yet. Needed to talk to you real quick first. Oh shit, cool. I was worried you were gonna tell me that Chipotle was out of your price range or something. <laughs> Wouldn't that be embarrassing? I guess. So you just straight up lied to me about getting me food? Damn, Detect. That's cold. I haven't lied to you, Michael. I still plan on getting you food, I just wanted to talk to you for a brief moment. Okay. I'm sorry about Detective Donahue's behavior. Whatever, it's fine. Glad you came when you did. I'd hate to do permanent damage to that man's face. Of course, it could have been an improvement, if you ask me. He's overworked. We're all overworked, actually. Tensions are high, expectations are putting pressure on us to perform. <laughs> perform, eh? What are y'all performing? Detective Donahue is no exception to the current status of our work environment. Believe it or not, he's typically not this volatile. Do you know what the word volatile means, Michael? <sighs> no. He's incredibly strained from work, so he can be a tad irrational and aggressive. Man, so what? Doesn't mean he can just come in here and start getting up in my face. Yes. You're, you're right. His behavior is ultimately inexcusable. But I'm curious to know if you've ever felt that way before, Michael. What way? Have you ever been in a position where you felt strained? Like you're backed into a corner? Where it seems like there's no possible way to escape what it? What the hell does she think she's doing? Michael! More importantly, why are you actually listening to this awful woman? What's this about, Detective? What? What's this got to do with my case? Answer the question, and I might tell you. No, you've no reason to say anything. I, um, uh... You okay, Michael? He's perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Remember what I said about the world, Michael? They're all just manipulative, vain people who care about nothing but themselves. She is no different. Just fine. If you say so. Well? Are we done? Not yet. You still haven't answered my question. Why, Why do you, you care? care? Because, believe it or not, I'm trying to help you, Michael. She's lying! She just wants you to confess! She spent so long talking about how exhausted she is! Michael? She only cares about herself! What does it even matter? You're all convinced. You just want me to give you your confession. That's all you give a shit about, isn't it? Isn't it? It's not entirely true. It is. Stop. Stop fucking lying. I'm not lying. Please stop accusing me of lying. Let me try to help you. Leave me alone. Michael. What the fuck do you care? I was asking. Because if there was a time where you two have been cornered or stressed out, then you might be able to channel that into feeling empathy for Detective Donahue. To not excuse his actions, but to at least understand them. I'll be back with that extra guac you're craving so much. Smothered was made possible thanks to the generosity from Sam Darson Beats. Hey, yo, Darsh! Hey, what's going on guys? Sam Darson Beats here. I'm really excited and really proud to be a supporter of Smothered. I can't wait to sit down and listen to what I already know is gonna be an amazing project for Lawson and the whole crew. I just really quickly wanted to take a second to say that if you're an aspiring musician, singer, or rapper, you're looking for some amazing pop, R&B, or even darker sounding instrumentals, definitely reach out to me on any social media platform, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, anything that you prefer. I'm always on the search for new clients. I think that we can make an amazing sound, amazing projects. Definitely reach out to me, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon.
think decorative pillows are usually for couches, right? Fuck off, Washburn. I didn't know about this development you were talking about was this serious. Christ! I still don't know why you had to go and complicate things with this case. Come on, Donahue. Quit being so callous about this. Even you must recognize the cruel and unusual life that Tchaikovsky has been forced to live. Yeah, well, I've also been in this game a lot longer than you have. That means nothing to me, and certainly shouldn't mean anything to this boy's situation. I know you're not a monster, Donahue. Let's at least sit down with Tchaikovsky, drop all signs that we simply want him to plead guilty to save us time, and show him some sympathy. It's not just that, though. What about the chief? What about him? You think he's just going to let us drop all 17 cases for this one kid? Look, I pity him. I really do. But our higher-ups are more concerned with bullshit statistics than the individuals who make them up. Hello? Have I broken you? I'm sure if we play the recording of Greg Tchaikovsky's confession, the chief will understand and grant us some more time with him. <laughs> You have better chances at trying to convince him to give you a raise. No, better yet, giving me a raise. Come on. Where's your heart, Donahue? I'm just telling you the odds, Wishy. Well, I know I'd have a better chance of convincing him if you'd back me up. Please. <sighs> Come on, Donnie. For once in his life, let's show Joukowsky some kindness. Ugh. Don't ever call me that again, please. And look... It's a bad idea for the both of us. Some might look at it as unethical. All right, fine. I'll convince the chief myself. No, 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 wait. Damn it, Washburn, don't! Detectives Washburn and Donahue. I was wondering when I'd see you both again today. Sit down. Do you both have something to report? Well, sir, it's about the Joukowsky case. Again, with the Joukowsky case, he still hasn't even agreed to plead. Even with that audio file. No, sir. Well, we haven't necessarily played it and asked him about it yet. We're planning... No? It yes. No. Need I remind you both of the massive stack of other open case files, Detective? Its growth rate doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. Trust me, Chief. I've been trying to remind her of that all day. She just won't budge on this one. And you're with Detective Washburn on this decision, Donahue. You've got even more on your plate than everyone else here with that corner store mess. No, no, no. I haven't slept in it in like 32 hours. I don't have time to dig deeper into the broken mind of the Joukowsky kid. I see. Chief Lance, please, listen to the recording yourself. And if you're still not convinced, I'll drop it and just get him to plead guilty somehow so we can move on with our lives. Before I potentially waste even more time out of my day, I have to ask, why are you so adamant about this all of a sudden? Because I want to make sure we keep doing our jobs for the right reasons. Interesting. You believe he didn't murder Susan Joukowsky? No, sir. I'm fairly confident he did it. But imagine what he must be going through on top of his upbringing. We need to obtain a better understanding, because if there's any chance where Joukowsky could plead insanity or defense or anything better than murder charges, that would be better than what is essentially a life sentence for him. Very well. I'll listen to it. You serious, Chief? I am. Let's hear it. That was rather disgusting to listen to, I must admit. It is. But I can certainly confirm that the voice on the other end of this recording is, in fact, Gregory Joukowsky. You're positive? I am. I've been here for a while now, and Gregory Joukowsky is no stranger to these walls. This is why I want to fight for him. I get it. We're swamped around here. That doesn't mean we can turn our backs on someone that life dealt a shitty hand to. You're right, Washburn. Damn it, you're right. Uh, are you sure? I am. 
Unfortunately, I can't give you much time. Realistically, all time to allocate to this case was expunged hours ago. You two have until tomorrow to find any potential angle that could be argued in court. Insanity. Self-defense. I don't care what it is. But someone's got to get out there and finally fight for this kid. Thank you, Chief. That's right, Detective Donahue. You'll be accompanying Detective Washburn in there. Give Joukowsky a taste of that signature bad cop routine you're so infamous for. But, Chief, you said it yourself. We're already past due on this case, and the other files keep stacking up. Christ! I just said I've already been awake for 32 hours. Then you better go brew yourself some coffee, Detective. You both have work to do. Hi. Yes, sir. Good deal. Best of luck to you both. Let me know if there's anything I can assist with. Of course, Chief. Thanks again. No problem. Just don't make me regret sticking my neck out this far for this kid. We won't. I swear. Come on, Donahue. Uh... Alwin Morales, 